Welcome back, my Dark Side minions. This is Dark Side. All right, so over two weeks ago, I made the biggest mistake in my Marvel of Contest Champions career. I accidentally used my rank up mutant gem on Mr. Nightcrawler. From that video, I have actually duped him. <laughs> so, to make it worse, I actually duped him, which was great because it actually uh, raised my prestige a little bit longer. So, as it stands now, his health is close to 21,000 in health. His attack is almost 2,000. That's mainly because of my masteries right now. But he is an R4 Nightcrawler. And let me tell you something. This guy hits hard. And he kills good. Very well. Especially on the line toward defense. Alright. Nightcrawler. Training allows him to switch to combat mode 30 seconds faster. Anytime he strikes a deep wound, he gains 403 increased attack for 7 seconds. Okay. Everybody knows this guy's a beast on Alliance War Defense. Well, he is also a beast on Alliance War Offense or Quest Offense or whatever you'd like to be. However you'd like to use him. So, let's do this. Let's see what he could do. Let me finish this off real quick. As a matter of fact, we could use Nightcrawler right here. I'm going through uh, the normal quest for um, the monthly quest right now. And um, my main purpose is to get that T1 Alpha. But it also gives me ISO, gives me gold. And that's on auto fight. So th these these um, fights are going to be a lot easier. So I hope you enjoyed my last video featuring one of the great champs, Medusa. If you like the guys, please hit that like and subscribe button. Tell your alliance mates, share it in your war chat rooms, and um, welcome them, you know, aboard. They could also be minions of Dark Side. I love minions of Dark Side. They give me tea, they give me a shoulder rub. Yeah, it's all good. Boom. Now, again, this is normal, guys. This is easy, so it's not like, you know, this is uh, really, really hard content. So. Cool, got 10 more units. That's really the reason I do it. Units, ISOs, rewards. So let's play a couple of duels. All right, how about my friend Kiro? He has a R5 565 blade. I know there's a little bit of um, class, you know, advantage but just look at these critical hits boom 16 hits I tell you what guys one of my favorite features about Nightcrawler because I like using them in quests anytime you fight Punisher Winter Soldier um, Anybody, anybody who has like a machine gun kind of projectiles, he'll just tear them up. I mean, he'll he'll evade them, and you just won't even get any kind of damage. It's kind of like using spikes, um, you know, uh, Spider-Man to start. Look at that critical hits. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Alright, let's get somebody who doesn't bleed. We've got Mr. Taurus. That's an R5 Ghost Rider. We'll do a little bit of duels from then. We'll go into Realm of Legends just to showcase again how much damage he does.
Ooh, I got parried. Got parried again. Well, that's a first. Oh, I was going to hit my special. That was my fault. <laughs> Trying to be a little too aggressive there. All right, so not bad. All right, let's try um, his R4 Hyperion. But yeah, anyone who's watched my videos, and, and I've been really, really happy. Um, I've had a lot of people watch those videos. And um, I know that I use my rank up mutant gem on him without really even thinking about it or even noticing it. But at the same time, when he got duped, probably like a week, not a week, but a couple weeks later, and... Um, this is my guy Fever. This is R5 Voodoo. Um, he's been doing great on Alliance War Defense. So, no regrets. No regrets. It's just uh, the hardest part was like I got like Archangel from the five star basic pool, like not even a few days later. And I was like, oh man, you know. But I like to stack my defense. Boom. 17 hits. Yeah, that's pretty killer, guys. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Rumble Legends. Man, I'm real surprised how fast these videos go. Uh, let me jump in the Lion's Quest really, really quick, guys. I don't know. No, not yet. So I got to wait. Okay. Hey, but I hope everyone had a good weekend. I know I did. Watch some good ball games. Took a couple naps. It's been a great day, man. Order some Thai food. That's good. All right. Nightcrawler. Juggernaut. Got him. X-23. Got him. Cyclopses. Hey, where'd my nightcrawler go? Whoops. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's get nightcrawler back in there. Sorry, he's already in there. Jeez. Yeah, we guys remember that commercial? What does drugs do to kids? Well, there you go. Okay. So it's like a synergy team. It's not um, the ideal synergy team, but it's his synergy team, so I wanted to use him specifically. But yeah, this guy could be used all over, man. I mean, he's not necessarily just for Alliance War Defense. Everyone thinks, oh, he's Alliance War Defense. Not really, guys. He's actually really impressive for Alliance, Alliance uh, Offense. Woo! Look at those critical hits, boy. Dang. Man, oh man, oh man. Luckily, I have enough firepower on offense. If not, look at this. I messed up there. Supposed to be able to dodge all of it. And I usually do. Why does this happen when I'm on camera? That's weird. Look at that. 10k hit. See? Boom. I like that he just had like three furies. Interesting. Yeah, there he is. There it is again. A 
Wow, it's like 8,000 damage just right there. Love it. Love it. You guys aren't impressed yet about this guy. I don't know what else to tell you. Nine out of ten times I don't ever have any problems evading his special two when it comes to Winter Soldier or um, Punisher. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it's me playing reckless. It's all for fun, right? But yeah, basically when he becomes awakened, um, he hits harder. He hits harder, he does more critical hits, as you can see. Wow, 13,000. That's impressive. And all those little red kind of numbers, those are deep wounds attacks. My deep wounds is at uh, level four. But yeah, totally, totally do not regret, you know, getting this guy up to um, R4. I mean, hopefully next year, you know, they'll do the same thing where they'll um, actually give us some rank down tickets. And if they do, then, then I could definitely, um, you know, rank him down. Because I have a lot more champs that would be a lot more beneficial to me in, in my stage of actual Alliance War. Because when you're playing tier 1 guys, like I said before in the past, and if you haven't watched any of my other videos, uh, people are so used to playing Nightcrawler because there's a lot of veterans that have played the game that are in T1 like we are. And it's just, um, wow, look at that, 14,000, man. And he's not just, he's not as effective as some of his other champs are. Boom. 241 hits. Hey, not bad for an eye crawler. Not bad at all. Alright, so Winter Soldier had some buffs on him. Let's see what Captain Marvel does and how she handles Nightcrawler. Mm, yeah, let's boost them up a little bit. I mean, just use some energy. She's easy. She's really easy to evade her special one, special two, but still. A lot of my damage comes from my actual blocking or from parrying since I don't have any defense on my masters. Not bad, doing good. That one was too ma premature there.
Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Not bad. Alright, let me try something else, guys. Let me bring a crit critical team in here. Spice this up. See what Nightcrawler really can do. Yes, we're gonna end quest. So let's add some mutants. We're gonna add Storm. We're gonna add Wolverine. All right, there we go. This here should do a lot more damage. So let's see what kind of damage it does. Hmm. Hey guys, and listen, if there's a, this was a request for this video was requested by my good friend LC. LC, big shout out to you. I appreciate um, you wanted to see what a R4 Nightcrawler would do in action. And um, definitely, definitely appreciate the thought and suggestion for the video. But if anyone that's watching the video has a suggestion or any kind of comments, just put them in the comments. Let me know. You want to watch a certain video? Fine. Let's do it. I'll make them. The last video I watched was from uh, Rob, a friend of mine from the Alliance Goat. And um, he wanted to see a spotlight on Medusa. Yeah, look at those shots, guys. So that kind of reminds me of like a cat. We have cats in the house and we get like a baby cat. It's like jumping all around. Look at those hits just tearing him up. 2,500, 2,000, 3,000, 4,900, 12,000. Jeez. Yeah, this guy's wrecking it. A little too slow on my reaction time there, which is okay. I always like to wait to the last minute. Alright, so let's see what a special one does. Boom. 7,000. Nice. Real nice. Hmm. Alright, we saw what a special 2 did. So let's see what a special 3 did. Does. Okay, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Did about almost eight thousand. Not bad. Yeah, even before, um, this happened here. I always liked Nightcrawler. Man, that was almost a 15,000 uh, K damage from the special, too. I was always impressed with Nightcrawler and his abilities. Oh, my abilities suck right now. 
<laughs> yeah, it's getting late, I guess. It's been a nice day, nice relaxing day. So my buddy else, he's like, hey, make a nightcrawler video. I'm like, all right, no problem. I was hoping that was it. Alright, so let's see how much this critical team reduced the amount of hits. 200, yeah. I think the other one was like 230. So 30 hits less. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright guys, that's going to be it for Nightcrawler. Um, like I said, he's a beast on defense. Great on offense as well, if you got him. This is my 5-star. And um, even if you got a 4-star, it's the same thing. He just doesn't do as much damage. But if you bring him with the right team, he's also great for questing. The cons, I would say, is sometimes when you switch him back to swashbuckling mode, he doesn't do the evade, and he'll e it's e easier to kill. Plus, once you figure out his routine... Uh, he's easier to kill again. So once you fought him over and over and over again, you know, he's not that bad. Because I remember when he first came out, he was he was a Terminator. He was like a gremlin on steroids, but quick and fast like the Flash. And would just poof everywhere. And it was just like, you know, five, six, seven hits, you're dead. Because, you know, the nodes and lines were, are always like souped up. But, um... The pros of this guy is he's a great fun champ to play with. He really, really does kill opponents really quick. This is Road to the Labyrinth, so, you know, he had special um, kind of armor, uh, Winter Soldier did. But when you're playing, when I use him in arenas or in quests, he takes people out, like, super, super quick. So that's some of the positives there. Um, you know, he doesn't have regen, and uh, he... He can take a punch, but not so much. I mean, you know, he doesn't have that thick armor ups like Iceman does with this, you know, ice armor or some of these other guys with their armors. But that's okay. That's just who he is. But I like him nonetheless. I'm happy that this turned out to be. So this is what I'm going to call my worst decision in Marvel Contest of Champions Part 2. And I'd like to say that I've been pleasantly surprised. Really excited about the champ. Very happy with what happened, especially when I duped him, because that allowed me to get my prestige up to 7k, and that for me was huge. So it helped me, the alliance, my roster, and um, every alliance war, he'll get two or three kills. So I'm happy with that, guys. But anyways, this is Dark Side signing out. Check out my other videos if you like this content. Hit that like and subscribe button, please, if you don't mind. And I am going to be done for now. Maybe I might make another video depending. But if not, this is Dark Side signing out. You guys have a good night. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.